Judge Eileen Cannon has refused to throw out the Trump Mar-a-Lago case based on constitutional vagueness. Trump's lawyers trying to make the argument that the government, they don't know what they're talking about. This whole thing is so vague. I mean, really, what are we even doing here? Um, and the judge is not having any of the whole hippy-dippy um, peace, love, and movement from the Trump lawyers. Not taking the bait. Trump's lawyers are also complaining that they're just doing this to Trump. They're not doing this to Joe Biden. They're targeting Donald Trump. And everyone is kind of looking at these people like, Joe Biden found those documents, had them unknowingly, turned them in immediately, notified security officials immediately, then cooperated throughout the entire process, sat for interviews, which the investigation ultimately resulted in a big fat nothing. Trump, on the other hand, stole documents related to the biggest political crime in American history, his stealing of the 2016 election with Russians. And then when he was asked to return those documents, he moved them to other stash houses in other properties of his and then refused to sit for interviews and refused to talk to anybody from the government. So they had to search Mar-a-Lago. They had to raid Mar-a-Lago. Completely different. The idea that you know this is some targeting act is insane. Trump's lawyers also want this to go to Congress. They say that, oh, you know what? Judge, you should really, you should just ignore this and we'll take this to Congress and, and we'll let the American people figure it out, which is really rich, right? Because of course Trump and his lawyers don't want to be anywhere near courts because it doesn't go well for Donald Trump. Uh, but he also has a number of his mega minions in Congress and they've been kind of doing his bidding. So of course they want uh, to ha to get their hands on on this and and be able to twist it uh, in ways that will basically let Trump off the hook. Judge Cannon was also considering Trump's argument that they should throw out the case because of the Presidential Records Act, which uh, the law enacted in 1978. This is from the Hill article uh, that did the initial reporting on this. The law requires pre presidents upon leaving office to transfer their presidential records to the U.S. government for management, specifically the National Archives and Records Administration, though they are permitted to retain personal records, including diaries and notes that are purely private and not prepared for government businesses. Now, if you're Donald Trump, he just says, I can take what I want. I, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, and then you got to prove to me that I got to return it. And and even when you do that, I'm going to fight you tooth and nail by trying to hide this stuff. Um, and it's not his notes and diaries. It's classified documents pertaining to, again, the biggest crime in our political history. So uh, the idea that Donald Trump can take whatever he wants is absolutely uh, absurd. So Judge Eileen Cannon, of course, will not throw this case out on that like she didn't throw the case out on the constitutional vagueness. And it's actually, it's kind of the opposite of what Donald Trump wants it to be. He says, okay, look, I'm going to take these documents and then you got to prove to me which ones I got to return. You got to, you got to, you got to make me do it. And the government's like, no, Donald, no, no, no. We have everything. And if you take anything, you need to prove to us that it had nothing to do with anything in government. Like, you, if you wrote a poem about the starry night, <laughs> okay, cool, but not documents relating to you stealing the election.